Today, I'm going to show you how to make delicious stuffed chicken breast. It's a Tuscan-inspired recipe with a creamy herb filling. This is an easy chicken dinner with gourmet results. To add Italian flavors to the filling, I'm going to use freshly chopped spinach, herbs, cheese, and sweet sun-dried tomatoes. But before we get started, make sure to preheat the oven to 375 degrees so it's ready when we need it. I'm going to start by chopping two cups of baby spinach. Use a fanning motion to break down the leaves. Baby spinach is really tender and it has a very mild flavor, so it's gonna add a nice pop of color and extra nutrition to the chicken. Make sure to chop it into fine pieces. These sun-dried tomatoes have been packed in oil. I'm going to chop them into smaller bites. As the chicken cooks, the sweetness of the tomatoes are going to concentrate. Because it's already dried, a lot of the moisture is already evaporated, so it's not gonna water down the taste of the filling. We need a quarter cup. I'm going to add a trio of herbs. I'm going to start with some fresh basil leaves. Just stack them on top of each other like this. Cut into thin slices. This is called a julienne cut. And a few quick chops. We need one tablespoon. I have some fresh parsley leaves that I'm going to chop down really fine. Use the fanning motion, rocking back and forth. We need one tablespoon. I have some beautiful fresh chives and I'm going to cut them into really thin slices. Chives add a really nice delicate onion and garlic flavor without being really strong and pungent and sharp in taste. Make sure to hold your hand in a claw so that you protect your fingers from getting cut and you have really nice clean chops. We need one tablespoon. For a quick pantry swap, you could use one tablespoon of dried Italian seasonings instead of the fresh herbs. I'm going to mince two cloves of garlic, cut off both ends, and give it a quick smash. This helps to remove the skin. And then run the knife back and forth. If you don't want to use fresh garlic, you could use a half teaspoon of garlic powder. We need one teaspoon of minced garlic. To make the filling, I have four ounces of softened cream cheese in a large bowl. It's gonna add a nice tart and tangy taste and creamy texture. It's also gonna bind all of the filling ingredients together. I'm going to add a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. It's going to add a nice nuttiness to the filling. And the chopped spinach. Quarter cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes. One tablespoon of chopped basil one tablespoon of chopped parsley, one tablespoon of chopped chives, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. It's a lot easier to mix everything together when the cheese is softened. I shoot for about 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, just a little below room temperature. This makes about one cup of filling. If you're not going to use this right away, make sure to cover and refrigerate the filling. It's really great for meal prep. This looks good, everything is combined. Now we can prepare the chicken. For this recipe, you need two and a half to three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. These are about 10 to 12 ounces each, which is just the right size for filling. The first thing we're going to do is cut the pocket into the chicken for stuffing. You're going to find the thickest side of the chicken and then create a four to five inch slit. Hold the knife parallel to the board so it doesn't cut down into the chicken. And cut about two to three inches into the chicken. And make sure you have about an inch on this side so that it doesn't cut through. This looks good. See, you have a nice little pocket to add the filling. And repeat with the other pieces. To season the surface of the chicken, I'm going to mix together one teaspoon of kosher salt with a half teaspoon of black pepper. I like to just mix it together with my hands. Evenly sprinkle the seasoning on top of each chicken breast. Flip the chicken over and season the other side. I find it easier to season the chicken before you stuff them. 
otherwise it makes a big mess. I'm going to add about two to four tablespoons of filling into each breast, just depending on how much you like and the size of the chicken. So just lift up the pocket, add the filling in the center, spread it out a little bit with your fingers. You don't want to overfill because when the chicken's cooking and the proteins start to contract, it's going to push out that delicious filling and we want to keep as much inside as possible. Now you can leave it like this and just press the meat over itself like that so it's nice and tight. Or you could actually add a toothpick just to the sides to seal the edges together to keep that wonderful filling inside. Just thread the edges and repeat this process with the remaining pieces. When you're done stuffing the chicken breast, you could either cook it right away or you could place it in the refrigerator covered and you could store it for about two days and just pull it out when you're ready to cook. Heat a large oven-proof skillet or Dutch oven over medium heat. Once the pan is hot, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Add the chicken and lightly press the meat down to make contact with the pan. Cook until golden brown on the surface, about five to seven minutes. Flip over and cook for five minutes. If using smaller chicken breasts, check for doneness as baking may not be needed. Searing the chicken in a hot skillet is going to create this golden brown flavorful crust due to Maillard browning. I like to use a cast iron skillet or Dutch oven and finish the cooking process in the oven. Transfer the pan to the oven. Bake until the meat is no longer pink and the internal temperature reaches 160 to 165 degrees about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the thickness of the meat. To check for doneness, make sure to use an instant read thermometer and place the probe in the thickest part of the chicken. Should read between 160 to 165 degrees. Also, the meat shouldn't look raw and the juices should be pink or run clear. This is ready, but I'm gonna let it sit for five more minutes to allow the juices to redistribute so that each piece is nice and juicy. Wow, the chicken looks so flavorful. Now don't forget to remove the toothpicks and I would serve this with some sauteed green beans and roasted potatoes. I hope you enjoyed learning the science behind stuffed chicken breasts and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. And if you're looking for more Italian recipes, check out Grandma's famous Italian meatballs right here. It's our family favorite. See you in the next video. Oh, this smells so good. I can't wait to dig in. Hey Jason, set up the table. Dinner's ready.